Greetings, this is Jazz for Jazz Reviews with the top 10 gaming soundtracks of this generation. Which means we're looking for single tracks originating from the Xbox 360, PS3 or the Nintendo Wii. Furthermore, any one track must derive from this generation only. And for that reason you're not going to find any remixed themes from Halo or Max Payne for example in this list. All tracks mentioned or played can be found in the description below for your enjoyment. This is going to be the most subjective list I've ever done. And obviously these are only my opinions as a games reviewer and lover of music. At number 10. Final Fantasy 13: Blinded by Light. Many things have been said of Fantasy 13, but no one to my knowledge has ever criticized the game's music. I could never connect with the game's battle phases, but with this track blasting through my headset, it made me want to play on. And I did, until the end of the second disc. At number 9. We do what we must, because we can. Portal, still alive. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. But there's no This little treasure played over Portal's end credits. The voice of GLaDOS, Ellen McLean, lent her voice to this electronically enhanced track, which by its nature I would usually hate. Can you make a neat clown for the people who are still alive? I don't know what I like about it. Maybe it's the sweet nature of the song. Or its sinister lyrics. I'm not even angry. For some reason this track always makes me want to dive in the air with two airsoft guns. Max Payne 3, Tears. Now I didn't say you wouldn't see Max Payne in this list. Produced as a promotional track for Rockstar on the airport mission of Max Payne 3, the band responsible for this piece dubbed themselves as a noise rock band named Health. This song helped form what I would say was the most memorable scene in gaming for 2012. Number 7 God of War 3, the main theme. True, the soundtrack to the game in general was in one word, and I say this with conviction in my voice. Epic. This rush of music had such build-up which would make one quiver at the brutality. Just the sight of the most angriest character in gaming. This soundtrack struck one of those rare chords that makes you really want to understand the Greek language. Number six. Six. Grand Theft Auto 4, The Soviet Connection. Perhaps the most obvious addition to this list is Grand Theft Auto 4's main theme. Through Promises of the American Dream, this theme, for me, really resembles the gritty struggle that Nico had to go through in the game. Nothing was easy, nothing so straightforward. I thought this piece was nothing short of genius in an attempt of reflecting the nature of Grand Theft Auto 4. At number 5. Mafia 2. Alright. Stop the car. The Film Harmonic Orchestra belongs to one of the most sought after recording orchestras in Europe. Its members have recorded symphonic scores for dozens of renowned video games. I won't spoil the game's ending for you, but it will send shivers down your spine. The main menu music and official theme of Mafia 2 was responsible in creating one of the most powerful endings this console generation. Four. In all honesty, this is one title on the list I just haven't played. But this is the one track I keep on my iPod, both the standard and instrumental versions. Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, Calling to the Night.
The vocals are done by a Natasha Faro. I first heard this song whilst playing MGS4's multiplayer. Whoever happened to control Snake in this one particular sneaking mode got to choose the music for everyone. And what came on was just bliss. This was in rough, an exact reenactment of how I discovered the song, which was purely instrumental. At number 3, Assassin's Creed 2, Venice Rooftops. It was a tough decision, but I decided to go with Rooftops as opposed to the chase theme of the first game or the track of Ezio's family. This was Creed in its prime, with the kind of free-running mechanics that were leagues ahead of any game seen before. Creed's entire soundtrack through every game in the series has been superb, and the man responsible is none other than Danish composer Jesper Key. He composed soundtracks for Assassin's Creed, Borderlands, Darksiders 2 and Hitman, winning a BAFTA in 2005 for Best Original Music. In an ideal world and a list with more places, Creed could appear a few times. The series is entitled to the honour of possessing some of the best music in video games. At number 2. The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. The game's entire soundtrack was composed by Jeremy Soul. Whilst composing Oblivion's soundtrack, Soul actually wanted the game's music to comment on the human condition and beauty of life. This desire came from a car crash in which the composer found himself rolling his car over several times on an interstate while flying headlong into oncoming traffic. Soul is perhaps one of the most accredited composers in the gaming industry, and Oblivion's theme is easily one of the most iconic themes that helped launch this console generation. And finally at number one, Uncharted Nate's Theme. As one of the most identifiable and recognized themes in the whole of gaming now, I wanted to avoid placing the most obvious games in this list. But you can't do that. The Uncharted games have consistently made for one of the best score collections on disc. The main melody has remained true in subsequent games and this is one track that instantly makes me think of a real 10 out of 10 video game. This has been Jazz for Jazz Reviews, and ranking these masterpieces has just been painful. So I need to give some quick honorable mentions to Mass Effect 2, Dragon Age Origins, Deus Ex, Human Revolution, Heavy Rain, and one particular track from Dark Souls, Lord of Cinder, and Journey, and The Last of Us. Most of the time spent with this video went into truly listening to the hundreds of great tracks, including those games of which I have not played, such as Nair and even Mirror's Edge, believe it or not. But thanks a bunch for watching, and to your pleasure, you can find every one of these tracks mentioned in the description below. Although you might want to look into other means outside of YouTube of playing lossless music files for real clarity. Yes, in my time with this video, I listened to nothing but the highest quality source material. So I leave you now with a track that instantly made me rush for the guitar to learn. <laughs>